so okay so here is uh here's this case i just received today i just took it out of the box i checked it out already i hooked the fans up to sata you know off a, a power supply outside jumped off right has rgb well it's rgb it says d rgb fans it has two of them one <clears throat> 120 mil uh yeah well, odd part of this is this is all scratched up so this is a protected part i'll find out once i get done building it the glass scratched up it doesn't look like it. it looks like it's just the outside pieces right and on top of it it has another sheet of this plec protector on the glass on the inside too that's also scratched up so it's like they handled this glass terribly uh i did check it out everything seems pretty good only thing i don't like is on their website it doesn't have you can see here doesn't have these cut out these are not here so if you're looking in the buying this case which i'll leave in the description in the pictures it doesn't show this it shows just one piece of metal right here without these cuts i thought that looked pretty good this to me kind of looks cheap it makes this top look cheap because they just cut little lines in it and then they're kind of slid it down yeah i don't i don't like this at all like that i bought it because it had a sleek top on it is white another thing i don't like either is that they did a black interior so a white computer with the black interior i don't i don't i haven't ever got why they do that it should be you know white and white so it looked way you know like all these fans would you know all your your ARGB your DRGB which I guess is a newer thing kind of lights up better in here but that's my own thing and like I have this mesh that didn't come with this case but I have a couple pieces of this you know I'm thinking I'm gonna get maybe some magnets that goes on this side so it just sticks up here I think that looks kind of good can you see what I'm talking about I think that looks pretty good like that so I can stick that on the top where it's lined up evenly because then it has a, a black, you know, this black mesh on the front and then the black on the top kind of goes together. But yeah, this next part of this video is going to be me putting the hardware in it. I still need to take it out of the Case Air case because I wasn't expecting this because it says the next, it, it won't be till Monday and it's Saturday now. So uh yeah i'm going to uh pull stuff out and put it in this case and i'll show the bill on the next part of putting the putting the parts in here okay so hopefully you can see what i'm doing uh, i, I pre-installed the power supply so i can run this cable because it's really tricky that that cooler on there makes it diff you just say difficult to put in the case if you already have it on your motherboard and that's typically what I do so I ran this so I can have this in I had to hook this hook the 8 pin in and then set the motherboard down and screw it in otherwise this will be almost impossible it's a you know plug in because that cooler is huge like right now It'd be pretty hard for me to even change the NVMe SSD out of it because one of the screws I even show you like Now obviously if you put a a, a a cooler like this on it you usually you know get a better board But yeah, that screw like Right here is underneath the heatsink so you need a little screwdriver to get in there and you know do like something like this so you just here will go. So this is the uh, i5 12400, you know, 500 gig NVMe S5, yeah, 512 gig NVMe SSD in here. I do have plans to upgrade it to a one, probably a one terabyte. And then I still have the eight gig and the four gig. I have uh, a 32 gig kit coming. So it's two 16, two 16s, yeah, two six, yeah, two 16. I can't even think right now. So I, I got 12 in here now. It'd be 16. So I got two 16 gig sticks coming. So a total of 32 gigs. And it's uh, 
accidentally order the wrong kit somehow it it's the same in a way but the kit I wanted to order would have been 30 3600 I wanted to make sure I go off the list for support it so I wouldn't have an issue with it right so I went with 3600 3600 and it should have been running like uh, CL 18 I found another set that was th CL 16 right and it still was running at 30 3600 and somehow I ended up with uh, 3200 yeah, so I ended up with 3,200. Oh, I need to, need to grab the back plate, which is still on the case. So, yeah, the RAM I would have got would have been uh, 3,600 CL, CL18, and I ended up ordering 32 gig kit that runs at, you know, 3,200, but it's CL, uh, CL16. It would do, I guess. There's that sin. Can that fit in there pretty nice? I'm gonna double check this, cause look at this. It says it could support a way bigger video, uh, way bigger cooler than this. Can you see that? Yeah, you can see that. So it says it supports a way bigger cooler than this. But I'm kind of hesitant on it. Maybe, maybe this video will be cut short. So, yeah, it says it could support way bigger. This is like a 162 or 163 millimeter height. And it says this can support a 170 mil. That's way bigger, but uh, that's that's like I don't think this is actually gonna fit. Oh. Well, it fits. It it looks like it barely fits though. Like, yeah, it. It barely fits. You hear that? Uh, that's just tapping on there. Just that light bit. I don't know if that's hitting on that or hitting something else. Maybe it just. Yeah, yeah, I cannot tell. But yeah, it fits on there. But it is definitely not the size it said. Like I said, this is like a hundred and they say this is a hundred and sixty three or 162 mil right clearance you need for the side panel and it set this case on new egg says it's 170 so yeah that's really close fingerprints on here and start screwing it down now this is a good screwdriver it's a decent i guess the length is why i like it so it come with this cooler because you got this you know you take this little screw off here and the fan be missing and that's how you screw it in so you need these longer ones so you, i pan this down a little bit oh you can see them so you kind of see them down here it has a bunch of these smaller ones the case comes with yeah over exposed why isn't the thing changing right and then you get four for like your power supply. You get eight extra screws for fans. So you need eight for the front. You know, for the top, if you're putting two fans here, you would need eight and four more. So you're, you're shy of, of how many screws you need. I guess they give you these because they're flat. And that's what you're going to... Oh, no. The top is even rounded, kind of. So I guess they kind of give you these to give it a better look. But then you get a whole bunch of these other little screws. I don't know what they're needed for because you can't do. These ain't going to be hard drive screws. So I don't know what these exactly are. 
need it for because you got a lot. I already have, you know, well, I moved one. So I already have, here's two, four, six, eight, because the board needs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to hold it down. So there's like two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen screws right here, extra. You know, and then you get the little offset screw. And it comes with one extra offset screw, which it wasn't in here for this board layout. I had to put in myself. And then pull another one out of the board of the of the case to move. But yeah, I got all the offsets in here in the right places. So we'll go ahead and start screwing this, screwing this down. Double check and make sure all the USB ports and all that stuff are lined up evenly. Yeah, I do back, you know, I screw these in a little bit and I go backwards and you hit that, hear that little click. So you know you're not messing anything out. seems seems like it's gonna look like it's gonna look pretty nice Yeah, there's used to be another case I got all the time that had like three RGB fans in the front and a standard fan in the back. But yeah, they they uh, they still sell it. It's M something. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what the name is, but they were ARGB fans before. Now they're just standard. They're just um, they still say they're RGB. No, they don't say RGB. They say rainbow, rainbow. So the the LEDs are look like like uh, like rainbow. Like you see the fans where they change the color changes and spins around in a circle. Like you know, you ever seen them? You know what I mean. Mostly, mostly if you see the computer that has RGB in it, and the demo mode is changing the colors as it turns. So it has it fixed. It's like it says rainbow fixed LEDs instead of the RGB like it had. So either you can run it with a controller it has or you can run it from your motherboard. And the fans were all, you know, PWM fans. So I actually like that. It seemed pretty nice, right? But then they just went to you know stagnant fans so yeah i gotta do all these wiring uh can i have that what in the world let go of it yeah yeah these cables are like really and another thing the, the uh i guess this is of these come out so I guess in other I, I seen some other videos of people talking about this and that's when I noticed the videos had this too like they these would be marked Fantex so they use using Fantex parts too maybe this is I, I have no idea I didn't really look into the case that much I just seen it and I thought it looked pretty cool you know it, it, this right here is really to me is disappointing so what the heck was I just doing so, hard drive is pretty cool how it hooks in. You, you pull these little levers down here, and then this just slides. Okay. Just, just slides out. Then it has little clips in here to help line it up more. Then you drop it in, and then these will lock in. And then you just slide this in. 
to the front so it means you have to you go to change these now that's going to be really weird <laughs> like there's so so much stuff that I, I wouldn't have done if I made the case myself I, yeah, and I can't put that to the back because it's done like that so you just move these this way Oh my, see, this, this, this is shit just gonna fall right in the way. Let's see how this is even gonna work out. That front panel might be tricky to get back on here. Like, there's so much stuff. You have to check this all, be as in the middle of, like, building it to see if this stuff is still gonna fit. Okay, yeah, this should be good. So the mesh hides that part up, which is weird. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna, that's still gonna fit on there. gonna do perfect cable management on this right now I'll do that off camera but I will get most of the stuff all hooked up so we can actually power it on and you can see what the RGB looks like and obviously on film you can see if they're telling the truth on that these fans can be controlled by the motherboard as it sets it should the motherboard is already set to like rainbow so it should do rainbow And it is, you know, a SATA hookup, which is nice because I don't have any Molex for this power supply. Stuck that back in there. Like I said, I have to do more cable management. It does come with zip ties too, which is nice. More, some of them only send you two, and they they sent, you know, six in this one. Odd thing to say that, you know. It's a good thing they send more zip ties, which I can't find mine. I ordered, I knew I needed some, so I ordered uh, a thousand uh, like four inch zip ties off of Am off of uh, eBay. I don't know where I put them. It's like, that's how bad my memory is. I don't know where where I put them. So these are uh, where is the other fan? So these are. Uh, PWM, where's other? So the RPWM fans. So I think mine are all at the bottom, right? Yep. Yeah. And then just see the wires take all that stuff up. So mine are at the bottom. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing a little bit, doing it sideways. So there is two headers down here at the bottom. Put that through there. Like, like, yeah, like this could hook to your board. It says uh, MD motherboard. D RGB three pin, but then uh, on this here, um, here's a power button which isn't related to these. It's just kind of looped all around in here. But it has a has this too, obviously that hooks in the daisy chain. These at the end of this one right here has the same thing. Uh, D R G B fan. 
So I, I have no idea. So we'll have to test these. And here. Where is the audio cable? is a power button because there's no reset on the case there's no uh yeah there's no power indicator so i'm assuming that comes on through the sata connector for the rgb plug this in so you only have one wire to go to the motherboard in that sense just a power button no re there's no reset button no uh power led Obviously missing this too. So where would this go? Come through this hole here. I do have a slightly better power supply I'm probably going to go with in this system too. I think that's, that's going to work. So we got our 8 pin hooked in, 24 pin, both fans for this are hooked in, both fans for the up here is hooked in. I'm probably going to dig out a fan and probably put a fan in the back right here. I think only ones I have are them up here fans. So I could put one here. To worse, I'll put three, all three of them in here. Not really. I'd only have one, one header left. So you just go ahead and you know, put the video card in, which is over here. So we'll grab that, which is the, you know, the RTX. 2080. Another thing that that uh, I screw short. Another thing on their site, it acts like you can put your uh, you can easily mount your video card side sideways in here, but I don't see a way to do that. There's no holes, there's no cutouts for it. I figured, oh, I'd have to buy uh, one of the little extender for it. And then I'd be able to put it in. If I wanted to put the card in, you know, where it's in here like this. But there's no, there's no slots in here for that. There's nothing in here to put that like at. You know, I think Newegg and Amazon need to go through and, and make it like you can't. Like if you go to look at all these cases, you see some and you're like, I want a case with RGB. And you see the headline picture shows RGB and then you get in and it's like, uh, this doesn't come with RGB. And you're like, why? Why let them showcase that? If it doesn't, if it doesn't come with RGB fans, they shouldn't be able to uh, list it. What the heck? Yeah, they shouldn't be able to list it as like, ooh, this is what it could look like if you put parts in it and RGB and all this other stuff. Yeah, I could see the last pictures, but the picture that they ever that, that you're gonna that's gonna draw your attention to it. 
is with it fully RGB, you know, tons of RGB fans in it. Or ARGB or whatever. And then they don't even come with fans. You get one fan. Like one fan in the back. And it's not LED. Nothing. Just a plain black fan. So that's easy here. So it looks halfway decent, right? Actually does look pretty good because it's black. It's all black themed inside. And... The fans should just work automatically, so now I've got to run the two lines. And I had them two hooked together with these little, you know, Velcro ties. They, I think I got these with EVGA power supplies. I, you know, I have multiple of these, but this... Okay. So how... Honestly, I think I want to just come up from the bottom. Maybe like this hole here. to show that second part of the cable. Wow, they almost fit in there. change that I don't really like how that looks but see it yeah, I kind of don't like how that's looking I probably pull them from here and then go this way but this is just going to be a mock-up of it and then you hook in this hook in the audio front audio header so you can see everything is kind of going into place hardest part is after you do all this is the cable management so then, here's these. So yeah, you can still see the front. Chain, grab the power cord. set right well this place my wireless keyboard and mouse stop though and ask me how I do that but I guess I don't really need it right now yeah, don't ask me how I did that. I not always keep it over here. And now it's not over here. So I'm gonna just hit the power button. Okay, so the power switch is off on the power supply. Hit this. Grab this front because there's no reason to not have this hooked in, at least setting up here. Yes. 
rotate this back down. Uh, okay, power switch is on. Okay, you kind of see the monitor back there, so we're just showing the build of it. You can see on the monitor, it's going to start up. So hit this power button. Yeah, even that does RGB up here too. I didn't notice that before, but you can see we are in rainbow with the with the theme on there. Is it starting? Yeah. yeah you can see it. It's starting up. Okay, there we go. And there we go. It turns on and boots. Just turn the sideways. So there is the Oh, my hard drive's not hooked in yet. Didn't do the SATA cable, but there you go. Uh, let's shut this down. But yeah, that's cool, right? Everything seems to be good. I, I went ahead and turned it off right away because my hard drive isn't hooked up, and sometimes it will kind of mess up my settings and stuff the way it does. I have to go back through and rename and s rename the drive and do all that mess where my stuff will show up. But yeah, it seems really nice, right? is a bad so yeah uh leave the comments below you know what you think like here is you now obviously you ain't gonna get a direct look at it with the thing on there but what's nice too is it actually has a little notch down here i forgot to mention that so it sits in this little key spot here so it won't really fall out and then you do that so there you go i don't know how good you can see that but yeah there's the total bill looks nice as all you know view is black i gotta figure out how to change the i know you could change that to match everything else but yeah i like it you know that's all that really matters oh just break it right so that's all that matters if i like it i'm kind of happy with it besides the top but then you know i am gonna add this to the top and then it does the case comes with you know this which is already falling apart for the power supply yeah I, I, I like the case it seems good once I'm actually built in here and then once I get this on the top you know what do you think this is a long video 30 minutes long I guess it's long to me it doesn't seem long but this is gonna be the end of this video you know, if you want, you know, if you want to see what kind of performance I get out of this thing, you know, um, let me know in the comments below. And, you know, what should I do? Should I, you know, message, e, you know, EVGA and be like, hey, you know, this is an advertise that had these cuts up here. And what are you guys going to do about it? You know, send the case back. But I think once I put the mesh on there, I'm perfectly happy with it. You let this mesh on the top after I do that. It doesn't look the same on the inside, but yeah, I'm happy with the cooler fits in it. It's the main thing I wanted was a newer looking case than the Case Air. I actually liked it in the Case Air too, but I wanted something a little bit newer, RGB, so I could turn the the I could turn these off. These will basically the RGB part will be off all the time when I run it. But then when I go to the future and I go to sell this build, I can turn them back on. And they can control them, do whatever light seems they want. I'm going to do the cable management and all that. And then, you know, get on it and play some video games. Thank you for watching. Okay, so this is like a... A extended bonus to the end of the video. So here is... Hopefully you can see it pretty good. Uh, my cable management still didn't do the best. I'm not the top tier at, at cable management. But you know, it has these ties here, but I added two zip ties here because this is still bulging out too much. It seems like these are pretty good for the, you know, your bigger cables. So then, you know, some of the cables, these are the two fans and the audio. Then uh, a power button, you know, switch for right here. This other fan, this wasn't long enough to take it all the way down and go like keep these together. So I had to do this. And then I zip, put a zip tie here, ran this through here and another zip tie here. 
So there's not a really a lot of zip ties in this. The cable that was run into the hard drive in the front, I just, and obviously to the, the controller for the RGB fans, it was running this way, so I decided one has to run this way and then back that way, and it's all underneath here where the hard drive is, underneath here, so there's this is kind of cleaned up. You won't see this anyways, but I wanted this to be clean. So, and I did, I did, I found some of this as a magnet, right? It sticks on there pretty good, so I cut some strips off to put on that mesh. There, it's drying now, that's why it's not on here. I don't want to glue it onto the case. So then, let's rotate to the front. You can see that the computer's on. It's running pretty smooth. You can see the RGB fans, you know, coming through the front. I did, so let's see if I got enough room. I did hook it to the place on the motherboard and you can see here it is syncing up with the motherboard so I haven't messed with these yet to see how to get this to change colors yet but these fans are changing with the motherboard so I can if I had the software I don't have the software on the motherboard but I could change all these to match together so the RGB on the motherboard and all RGB on the fans are syncing together. So this is going to be super long. As you can see, my cable management is pretty good. And obviously putting the side panel on, I don't have the, the wrap off it yet. I'll do that once I get the computer in place. But everything seems... It's, it's like really dusty right now in here. Moving all this air and dust all around. But yeah, seems pretty good. Okay. Now this is the end of the video after the bonus ending of the video. Thank you for watching.